So I, I've been looking forward to optical flow coming yep. out for yep. sure. Yep. Um, yeah. And so when is it going to release? Okay. Well, the simple answer to that is. Um, I've done this as a aftermarket thing, as coming from the community. Um, so all the instructions for this will be actually up on the uh, Solid Mont Club later this week. I'll do it just straight after NAB, and um, basically the instructions on where to get all the various parts and everything like that will be there. Now the support for optical flow is early because we've done it from the community. It's not a 3D R driven thing. Like you'll see, that's where we're focusing here. Is various bits and pieces that the community have added to. Um, solo so uh, the, the capabilities of optical flow at the moment are basically indoor position hold or outdoor position hold if you're in a GPS denied area um, there will be hopefully some more future features that we can start going in there we have the takeoff and land is working correctly uh, on optical flow um, I've tested return to home on optical flow and that works in certain situations so we've got more work to do there um, yeah so as I say it's a development project it is if you're interested in being on the cutting edge, it's definitely uh, got capabilities so. um, As far as the types of buildings that it will work, will it work in metal type structures also? This, this optical fly has nothing to do with metal or RF or okay, anything no. like that. Um, yeah. So, yeah. And then um, as far as um, you said uh, uh, for outdoor for positioning, yep. like. Um, if we had like a, a scenario where we have a lot of very thin sheer rocks where people fall in between oh, okay. the rocks yep. Yep. and it would be nice to get it into a position where we can see those people. Yep. Will optical flow work in a situation like that? Would that be a, a good use Look, for it? Situations like that are always awkward. Um, they're always difficult. I would actually uh, suggest a slightly more modern, modern uh, thing and I'd be suggesting something like the SF40 uh, from Lightwear. Um, that's actually a scanning LiDAR, um, so you can actually do uh, much better positioning between rock faces and things like that. So it's actually surround positioning. Um, but things like that, that's that's uh, that's where the mod pups really useful because um, there's people on there that are sort of keen on hacking and modding and adding features and stuff like that. So it's flexible that way. And definitely not an off the shelf one though. Um, unless you're a good pilot. A good pilot could do that, you know, right. get it in there and yeah, but it's risky. Um, what are you what are you, what is your price point going to be? Look, as I say, this will be a, a DIY, so each of those parts are available from other companies, so I won't even comment on that, but uh, on the on the mod club there'll be links to all of those so you'll be able to look them up by the end of the week. So, yeah. Okay. Except for the plastics, you have to print that yourself. So, I, okay. <laughs> and I'll release the file for that as well. Now, it, and that is going into the accessory bay. The yes. The flows in the yep. accessory bay. Right? Yep. So you can see on this one here, you can actually see the accessory bay uh, down here. So on this one, we actually have a uh, transponder on that one. But we, you know, we designed a couple of breakout boards that you can actually utilize on that. Um, this board here is available on OSH Park. Um, and there's a link again on the mod club for that. Yeah. Um, and so the optical flow just plugs into, into uh, sorry, the light up plugs into here. The optical flow actually uh, piggybacks onto the compass at the moment, um, but there is a new version of optical flow, hopefully coming soon, that will plug into the CAN bus so it can all come from the accessory bay. Yeah. Wow, long awaited yeah. and very exciting. <laughs> yeah, so it's. It, it is taking a long time, sorry about that, <laughs> but yeah, uh, hopefully hopefully we'll get that, uh, yeah, but again, as I say, I'm actually no longer with 3DR, um, I work uh, with the Archer Pilot Group, um, and we do hardware and software as an open source project, uh -huh. um, and obviously 3DR has been a great supporter of the Archer Pilot Project for many, many, many years, Would, wouldn't really be where it is without 3DR, so... Um, so I'm continuing on with them, and uh, obviously there's still quite a tight relationship between Freddy R and uh, RG Pilot, so, yeah. Well, thank you for your time, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah I'm looking forward to the release. Yeah, <laughs> yeah look, look, I think pretty much this is the release. Um, if someone decides to take this up and build it as a product, I'd be yeah. really happy with that. Yeah. But um, as it is, if someone actually wants it, there's nothing stopping people actually building this and customising it. There's, there's people that are really good at customising RG Pilot. Um, and adding features and stuff like that. So, yeah. Good. Yeah. All right, thanks.